Diamond has a high melting point. That's true. Uh, you know, you might have heard diamond is the hardest or one of the hardest materials on Earth, so we'd stand to reason that it'd also have a very high melting point. It would not be easy to turn that into a liquid. Uh, melting point, incidentally, is greater than 3500 C. So that's clearly true. In a diamond crystal, the carbon atoms are held in place by ionic, by, excuse me, by ionic bonds. Uh, wait a minute. So if you remember anything about diamond, diamond has a very special kind of bonding in it called network bonding. And it's a form of covalent bonding, so it's a form of sharing uh, electrons. It is not ionic, so it's not, remember ionic is a metal and a non-metal. Clearly, this is just carbon. It's just carbon to carbon to carbon. It's covalent. Uh, it's a special kind of uh, covalent bonding because it's network bonding. Basically, you have networks of carbons all you know, connected together. It's one too many bonds, but you get the idea, right? All this network of carbon bonded together, <clears throat> and that's what gives it its strength, and that's what makes it hard. That's what makes it have a high melting point. That's what gives it the properties it has, things like that. So it is not true to say that the carbon atoms are held in place by ionic bonds in diamond. It's network bonds. So this is false. And because we've got true-false, we don't have to worry about CE. So that's the answer, true and false.